Dick Person, Richard Mark Person, born 1950, is a former senior New South Wales and Queensland public servant and local government administrator. Early career Richard Mark Person was originally from Randwick, New South Wales, where he graduated from the University of New South Wales with a Bachelor of Arts and began work for the Australian Labour Party NSW branch. In 1974, Person was an electoral officer for NSW ALP Senator Arthur Jayat Selt and was involved in organizing an advertising campaign to promote the achievements of the Whitlam Labour government at the time. In 1979, Person was president of the ALP Wentworth Federal Electorate Council. Person later worked as an assistant to the NSW Deputy Premier, Jack Ferguson, and then from 1983 worked for Housing Minister Frank Walker as a policy analyst for the Housing Commission of New South Wales and the succeeding Department of Housing from 1985 to 1988 from 19. Policy and Programs in March 1988, Person resigned from the NSW Public Service in order to lead the Federal Housing Policy Review initiated by Minister for Housing and Aged Care, Peter Staples. However, his appointment came under criticism from the Federal Leader of the Opposition, Alexander Downer, who took issue with Person's labor background. Person's review, which was completed by March 1989, rejected the idea raised by the liberal opposition of an allocated housing allowance instead of specific public housing, and identified four major problems in the housing market, lack of appropriately zoned and serviced land, to land high interest rates, the declining availability of low. In late 1989, when Frank Walker looked to transition to federal politics, person was recruited to work for Government of Queensland by Minister for Housing and Local Government Tom Burns as Director General of the Department of Housing and Local Government, which had been created by the amalgamation of the Public Works Department and the Local Government Department. Person was brought into the government to push through the Goss government's plans to initiate significant cultural change in the Queensland public service following the Bill Peterson era, and for the first time his department took on. Local Government and Planning Person continued serving in this position for the government of Wayne Goss under Minister Terry McEnroth from 1992. In early 1994, the Director General of Queensland Health Department, Dr. Peter Stanley, resigned suddenly leaving the job vacant, and Person was quickly moved into the position by Midminis 1994, even though he did not apply for the position, reporting to Minister for Health, Ken Hayward. His appointment, given his lack of medical policy expertise, was controversial, with the Queensland branch of the Australian Medical Association taking particular issue. But Hayward defended him, noting this whole exercise shows yet again the aim a single purpose is to oppose the government at every opportunity. He served until early 1995 when Person took up a new position for the New South Wales government of Bob Carr, as Director General of the new Department of Public Works and Services, replacing Ron Christie, and reporting to Ministers Michael Knight, Carl Scully, Ron Dyer, and Maurice Ema. In 1997, the Commonwealth Government of John Howard brought Person in to serve as Director of the 1997-98 National Housing Policy Review. In 2001, Person was elected to serve of the Council of the Women's College, University of Sydney, and he served until 2014. Person served as Director General until the re-election of the Carr government for a third term on 22 March 2003. This new government was marked by a significant reshuffle of ministerial portfolios and an extensive reorganization of government departments. Person's department was one of several that were abolished, with NSW Public Works moving into the new Department of Commerce, on 2 April 2003, and Person was placed on the unattached list. In 2003, Person was appointed to the Board of Health Quest, a statutory health corporation that reported to the NSW Minister for Health, providing occupational health services to both government and private sector employees. Becoming deputy chairman in 2004 and assuming the role of chairman in 2005, local government career. 
Waringa Council. On 23 July 2003, the Minister for Local Government, Tony Kelly, following the release of the report of a public inquiry, headed by Emeritus Professor Morris Dolly, into the conduct and management of Waringa Council, which revealed an extensive loss of trust between the Council and its community, proclaimed that he had advised the Governor of NS Coming in to administer one of the most complained about councils in the state person took on the role of transforming the administration of council through implementing good practice and the removal of conflicts of interests in council operations. This included in the matter of planning decisions and conflicts of interests of the former councillors, the extent of which person found particularly surprising. When I arrived here I was given a security card, like most of us have nowadays, I thought, oh, that's for security reasons. I later found out it was to keep councillors out of some parts of the council because they were literally to combat the primary problem of a public lack of trust in the council. In 2003, person also appointed Dr. John Warburton as the first internal ombudsman of the council. In September 2004, person requested that his term as administrator be extended beyond his initial term which was scheduled to expire on 1 August 2005, citing a number of important projects yet to be completed and the continuing work establishing a change in culture amongst staff at the council. An extension was approved by the governor until the local government elections in September 2008, at which point a new council was elected with a new directly elected mayor, Michael Regan, whose party ticket ran on a platform of council to be run as a board of directors. Immediately before the elections, Person made the unprecedented step of commenting on political affairs, expressing a desire for individuals involved with the former dismissed council not to stand for election, and noted in particular one candidate as having been prominent in the disruptive nature of the previous council and was. Port Macquarie Hastings Council Later Life and Career in 2010-2011, Person was appointed a special advisor on local government rate-setting functions for the NSW Independent Pricing and Regulatory Tribunal apart, and in 2009 was appointed a private sector community housing provider in Sydney, which was renewed in 2011, 2014, and 2017. He retired from the Bridge Housing Board in November 2020. On 29 August 2011, the Minister for Planning and Infrastructure, Brad Hazard, appointed person to serve as the chair of the board of the Sydney Harbour Foreshore Authority and his term lasted until 21 August 2014. Person is a fellow of the Australian Institute of Management fame and a fellow of the Australian Property Institute FAPI. Northern Beaches Council In May 2016, with the release of the Local Government Council Amalgamations Proclamation 2016, Person was announced as the administrator of the new Northern Beaches Council, which comprises the former local government areas of Manly, Pitwater, and Warringah. As administrator, Person directed the implementation of functions of the combined councils into one and noted shortly before the September 2017 election that I believe the integration of the three previous councils into one northern. Person released a report to council in September 2017 entitled Stronger Together Administrators Report to the Community, which detailed the achievements of the new council since the May 2016 proclamation. Person remained as administrator until the election of the new mayor on 26 September 2017. In 2019, Person was appointed by the Minister for Planning, Rob Stokes, to be a member of the Central Sydney Planning Committee, which assesses all development over $50 million in the City of Sydney. The committee comprises the Lord Mayor, two City of Sydney councillors, and four people appointed by the Minister with expertise in relevant fields. Central Coast Council